Greetings, uh, Alexei here, the developer for Open Apocalypse. In this video, I will uh, explain the situation with bugs and fixes. So, yesterday we have released, at least I made a video about this release to the public, so now people know they can download and try Open Apocalypse. And uh, since, like in the current situation, basically I'm the only programmer who is actively coding. We also have some other people contributing uh, in other ways, like studying the vanilla game and so on, making fonts for other languages. Uh, basically, our team is very limited right now and we don't have any testers at all. And that's why a lot of bugs will end up being in the game. It's to be expected that what you will download in the nearest future will be a very buggy mess, which will crash constantly. And in the latest video I made about the updates, I've encountered like five crashes and I cut out most of them. So you may have noticed the video is a bit like Jerry and like the video is very cut in pieces. That's because there are bugs. But we're going to fix these bugs if we encounter them or if you tell us that you encounter bugs, we will be able to fix them. So basically we need your help to test this, to be our quality control, our quality assurance, our testing team, so we can fix the bugs. So I'm going to explain in this video how this process uh, of getting a new version and getting bug fixes will work. Basically, uh, when we get a new build and fix something, it will appear on the AppWare site. The link was in the description in the last video, and I will add it again in the description of this video. So just from time to time, go here and see if the latest build number has changed. And if it has, you will see an explanation about what has been fixed in the latest build. And you can also click history and see all the like everything which was, everything what was updated since you last downloaded Open Apocalypse. So the last build available was this one, and now this one is the new build which you can get. And you can just see by clicking the build, you can see what has changed in this build. For the latest build, it's shown on the main page. So in the latest build, like what's fixed now, agents were refusing to move, but now they actually move. And uh, the crash when exploding a weapon with an empty clip. So when you play around with these explosions and there's something on the ground which has no clip, like for example the loot which is present in the buildings, it will no longer crash. Agent inventory opened with zero agents and so on and so forth, you can read it by yourself. But basically what I want to explain is that if you see a bug in your version, first of all, go here and see if there is a new build and if there is a fix in this build for the bug you have encountered. If you have not found uh, your bug fixed here, if you've got the latest build and you still encounter a bug, please take a second of your time and file a GitHub issues, uh, new issue. So go to github.com slash open slash open click issues and make a new issue. Because that's way easier to control than, for example, people like uh, people commenting on my video or people like commenting on Facebook. Like I get it, it's easy for you to comment here, but it's quite hard to keep track of all these ways people can comment. Like there's a contact here. Uh, the community for Open Apocalypse, I don't even go there because it's like, uh, I already go check this out, check the forums. It will be much easier to just go to a second source like, like GitHub issues and just see all the bug reports here. And here we can track individual bug reports. Here you can see if bug report was already made by someone else. You can have your bug report like repo uh, responded to on the topic of the bug, like for example, if you post in Facebook like this, like I'm having some issues and like, or, or here, 
like uh, Patrick Sweetman uh, is both talking about what he found nice and what he had problems with and and so on and so forth. So like I can re people can reply to this part of the post or to the bug report. It's messy. It's way easier if it's just a like dedicated like people's opinions on the Facebook and if the bug reports are on GitHub and on Facebook you can just like say that okay I found a bug I filed the bug report on GitHub go check it out and we will and we will fix it but anyways uh, if we find bugs or if you find bugs and post about them and we fix them a new build will appear here and you can get this build and you can see if the bug is fixed and maybe find something new to complain about so we can fix that as well so for now go to, go here and get um, this build and play with it because in the previous build actually like battlescape didn't work at all <laughs> agents weren't moving there was a small simple silly bug so yeah when you see a new build uh, as usual go Click your platform, click artifacts, download new one and copy the data into it and just de delete the old one. And finally, again, as people didn't seem to get my instructions before, don't rename your image to cg.iso if it's not an ISO. So .iso is a file format description. If you change this, the file name is changed, but the format of the file doesn't. Like, like obviously like if I create a like a BMP file like bitmap image okay <laughs> Windows doesn't work this way anyways if I create the BMP file and I like do something with it and save it it's going to be a bitmap file it's going to have a BMP format and but it's going to also have this BMP extension and if I just rename it to JPEG it doesn't like become JPEG file. It still is this huge BMP file. And like, of course, some editors will open it, but like some other editors maybe won't because they will not recognize it. Like if you look at this in hex editors, it's still a bitmap. Here it is, BM, here it is. It's a bitmap, it's not a JPEG. So it's not really a good idea to just rename the file to another extension and see if it works. <laughs> if your image is not an ISO, don't rename it to ISO. Just open it or mount it and copy all the files into the folder called into the folder called CD to ISO and everything will work. It's confirmed now that both Steam and GOG versions do work if you just copy them to a folder. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, we'll keep updating the game and so if you find any new bugs please file bug reports and check the latest builds so you can get the latest playable version and you can play without the bugs and you don't have to experience the bugs which are already fixed by us so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video goodbye